In the kitchen again, Sharon. In the kitchen with Sharon. In the kitchen with Sharon. And uh, you're actually preparing something for tomorrow, not for us. No. This is for Charlotte and Jimmy. And Frank. And baby Frank. So what are you doing? I'm going to make a shepherd's pie because it's lamb's mince. Right, so all you've got is our super duper frying pan. Which I love. Non-stick. All you're going to do literally is just brown this off. Yep, let me just go. And that is lamb mince, you say? Lamb mince. Shepherd's pie. Yep, which will be shepherd's pie. And just break that up. Get it browning. Well, it's still frozen, that's what I'm It is still on. frozen, yeah. So we'll just let that go. And what else are you putting in it, Sharon? Carrots and onion and beans. Yes. Got some peas in it. Frank, no, no peas. Okay. Got to, got to show them this lovely meat we just bought, Sha. Here we go, look. We've got two of these. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to open the bags, I don't think. But we've got basically two lovely ribeye steaks in there. And these are actually massive, these. These are, again, two massive belly pork strips. They go all the way around there. That's one strip there. There's two of them in there. And then we've got these little beauties. And these are big, Sharon, aren't they? These, oh, yeah. these are enormous. These are two, look, it's the size of my hand, look. They're pork steaks with a lovely bit of rind on them as well. And what you're doing here, baby, you're just chopping up that uh, carrot, get that ready for the uh, mince. And as I say, we're, we're not eating the carbs, as you well know, folks, so we're literally just showing you what we're eating. Apart from the pie, not the pie, the shepherd's pie, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. We have got another couple of ribeye steaks up here for tonight. Uh, there we go, one carrot prepared. We've got these two ribeyes here, which we're going to have tonight. I'm just going to um, open them up and have a look at them. These we did have frozen shower, didn't we? Yeah. So two lovely, plenty of marbling fat on them ones, folks. Look at that, look. There is two there. So just drop them out. Put that in the bin. I'm just gonna go and wash my hands. Breaking the old mince down. Sizzling away, shower. Yep. So while Sharon's doing that, I'm just going to um, season up these uh, ribeyes with some Himalayan salt and also some uh, ground black pepper as well. These are great, we love these things here, don't we? Oh yeah, they're excellent. I just realised as well, they've got a little light underneath them, folks. Look yeah, I noticed that the other day when we done it. I didn't know that because I've only done it outside, Sharon, oh. with our roadside cooking. There you go, lovely bit of black pepper on that. All right, so they're ready to go. Sharon's also going to be having hers with this um, Coley Phillips there, skin on boneless. That was in the freezer, Shao. So you just got that out? Fridge, no, that was in the fridge. Oh, that was in the fridge. We bought I that. brought them in as I think they were two pounds, so nearly three. Yeah. Just going to tip this in the frying pan. Come over with me. I will come over with you, baby. I'm not draining that off because there's not no, a lot of fat that. in that's there. All the good that's stuff that's now. all the flavour. That's exactly what's in there, Shao. When we have mince now, folks, we don't go for the 5% one, it's a 20% fat. Because uh, that's what we do now, you see. So Sharon will just do that. She'll put the lid on that. I'm going to add some beans to it in a minute. You want a tin of beans out? Yeah. Yeah, where's the beans, Sha? Should be in the corner where they always are. Oh yeah, they're behind the coconut milk, I think. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. And I didn't realise, Sharon, I'm going to put this to the test. That tool which I thought from Timu the other day. Which where is it? I think it's on the table over there, Shao. I thought it was a tool for lifting up uh, hot trays or plates or something, but someone told us it's for taking these ring pulls off. So let's see Sharon actually have a go with it. This is the thing, folks. Look, show us it first, Shao. Look. Oh, I don't know. No, go on it. So you, no, no. I, I would suggest look, no, you go. No, you go that like, because it's got to lift up. Look at that, look. Now, roll it back, go on. Oh, hello. That didn't work, did it? I think you was only supposed to lift it up and not pull it off, Shao. So that's bugging it, you have to go back the old way now, wouldn't you? Ah, leave it! He's gone for it, Merlin. I think you were just to get it Where under there it? and lift it. They'll all be telling me. Well, maybe, I don't know, Shav, there was no instructions with it, was there? We've never used one before. So you're going back to the old way, unfortunately. It definitely went under and lifted it up yeah. all right, but I think, as I say, I don't think you're supposed to oh, pull it off. Oh, it's not opening it. Oh, here we go. More worried about him eating that. Yeah, go on and try it again. It's missed bits, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. 
Do you want me to do it? Come here, hold that, come here. Right, we got the lid off eventually, Sharon. So yeah. you've had that steaming under that uh, lid, so they're softening off quite nicely now, aren't they? I just want the carrots to cook through more yeah, than anything. Yeah, that's what I mean. So they go in the old beans. Just stir them through. Are you putting any seasoning in that at all? Or? Uh, I might put some gravy. Sharon's just going to do a few potatoes to go on the top of the um, shepherd's pie shell. Correct. And I'll be having my steak with um, eggs tonight. I was going to have prawns, but um, I think I'll have a couple of eggs with mine. That'll top it off, lovely. And then these are going in the pressure pot oh, to right. make me mash. Yep. How long for? Seven minutes? Yep. Yeah. Seven minutes in the old pressure pot shell. Does the job, does it? Instead of quicker. boiling for about 15 That's minutes it, or 20 yeah. minutes on the, um, on the hob. I could have done my mince in there, but I just wanted to do it like that. I like to do it like that. I don't think I'd ever do potatoes on the hob again after nine of that quick in there. No, that's right. Look at them lovely steaks, folks. Look, it's just sitting there all seasoned up with salt and pepper. That's all you need. And after we've cooked it, there'll be a big top of uh, grass-fed butter to go on the top there, shall I think that might be enough. Who's that got to feed, anyway? It's for me, it's not a big dish. It's only them three, isn't it? All right, yeah, that might do, yeah, OK. Okay, well that's that sorted anyway. So we have got a, a new air fryer to show people, Shannon, haven't we? We have, yes. Well, it's not strictly ours. It's a portable one. See if you can guess who this air fryer's for, okay? There it is, look. <laughs> they do little toy ones now, and this is for <laughs> baby Frank. It's, uh, as you turn it on, show you a power that button. One. There's your times. Yep. And do the music. So you can dance. Why are you cooking? Sorry, I want the musical Kasori. Happy days. There you go, folks. Baby Frank's into the air fryer scene now. I'm going to get some water on the What's gravy. For? For the In gravy. fact, I can add cold water. I'm going to do what Mazzy does as it cold. She adds the gravy granules, then she adds the water. Oh, yeah. But first, I'm just going to put these on. The old potatoes? Yeah. Are you just tipping that whole lot in now? Do you know There's what? Yeah. Probably warm... too much water in there, though, isn't yeah. there? So you're going to tip a bit of that water out. Don't forget, folks, whenever you do, uh, you pressure cook. In fact, I'll go fresh water because the starch will have come yeah, out. Yeah, that's right. So go for the... Uh, There's a bit of skin in there. Go for the um, potatoes in there like that. Look at him, hello. Hello. Who's that through there? Is that baby Frank? There you go. And you just put in a, well, three quarters of a pint in, yeah. Shell. That's all you're going to do. That goes on for seven minutes. I'm in no rush for them. No. Seven minutes on high pressure, take off the keep warm function and happy days. So you're just going to sprinkle a bit in there like that. This is what Mazzy does. Right, well I've never seen this and done she before, got, shall She stirs it. See Mazzy, I'll watch. Yeah. And then she just adds water. Right, okay. And it all comes together for her. You don't need too much liquid in there, do you? No, I don't want too much because the, the mash is going on the top as well. So we just bring that together. Let that cook, put the lid on. Once them uh, carrots soften off, Sharon, that's the job done, isn't it? Yeah. Then you can put that in a bowl, mash on top, and that'll be ready for I tomorrow. A bit more water. And if it is too thin, people, you can always uh, thicken it up. Just have more gravy granules. With a few yeah. more gravy granules, Sharon, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Right, okay, so this is your coli fillet, Sharon. Yep. Yeah. Skin on. Lights. You don't mind the skin, do you? I love the skin. Oh, stinks fish. Well, it does stink. It is fish here. Yeah, I know. So Didn't two little shines. coli fillets there. It is a white fish. Not too sure. We've probably had it before, shall we? But I can't remember what it tastes I'm like. I'm going to rinse it, actually. Yeah, can I rinse it off? Get that slime. Of course, it is strong smell, isn't it? I can smell it from here, shall we? Oh, that'll have to go out. That's cool. what I said. Don't empty the bin till I've done that. Yeah. So that's what you got there. Okay. Oh, is that all right? 18th of Feb. Yesterday. Oh, that's 18th of Feb, Cher. That's yesterday. I'm not eating that then. No, it stinks. I was looking forward to that, no. Oh, God, that really stinks, Sharon. No, I wouldn't eat that. Sorry. What else you got in there? Anything else you can have? That's a day out, folks, but it really does stink. It really does kick up. There's some salmon down there, Cher. Oh, yeah, I wanted white for you. Oh, oh. I fancy a bit of salmon as well. That's the trouble, folks. When you buy fresh, you can never guarantee 
how fresh it is. The dates, okay. you've normally got a few days either side of the uh, sell-by date or whatever, or use-by date, but uh, that is know. kicking off. Oh, it stinks. No, that's going to have to go to the bin. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's get so, it out of the house. There's nothing else we can do now. That's just that for tea tonight. I might have a bit of that sa uh, salmon. I do like salmon as well. Let's just put this in the... Um, then I'll take that out. Right, you've got your uh, glass bowl there. And there we go, people. That's how quickly this nutritious, tasty meal, Sharon, is to make. Again, all done in the frying pan, isn't it? Yep. My wonderful frying pan. Yep. And that's going to do Jimmy, Charlotte and baby Frank. Once you've got the potato on top of that, happy days. Right, back at it now, Sharon. Now yep. we've got that stinky fish out of the way. <laughs> so what are you doing here then, baby? Just a bit of cheese for the mash. That's a little uh, mature cheddar cheese, is it? Or Just a... I think it's a medium cheddar. Medium cheddar. So that's a nice bit of grated cheese there, people. Okay, that's finished now. I'm just going to open a little vent on that, people. Get rid of the pressure. There you go. Pressure's now released. Take that lid off. And your potatoes should be done, Sharon. So just getting a knife, as you can see, they're fully done. Absolutely fully done. Look at that, look. In that short time. Marvellous. Right, we drain the water off, and then we'll start putting the mash together. Right, okay then. So Sharon's just going to pour them back into there. Now we're actually mashing it in the pot, folks. So if you do do that, or decide to do that, make sure you've got a plastic or wooden spatula. And we'll put a knob of butter in there as well. There you go. And you want a little drop of milk or not? Yeah, I will do this some milk in the fridge. Right there, let's go and get that for you, baby. Now, because it's for Jimmy and Charlotte, Sharon, we will use normal milk. But we have done it ourselves before with almond milk, haven't we? And it's yep, okay. or cream, I like or it with cream. cream. But uh, we, we're off all that, as you well know, so. Well, I'm the keto, I'm not. Well, you are, because it's a uh, potato. No, I, yeah, but I would like cream. Oh, yeah, cream is okay. Things, yeah. yeah. Just start to introduce the cheese. Leave a bit for the top. Can I just say something? What? What we always get pulled up for. Put a tea towel underneath it, baby. That way it won't slip about. Here we go. <laughs> what people tend to forget, Shao, is that when we're filming, we're doing it as we go along, and I'm concentrating on the filming, you're concentrating on the cooking. So little things, little quirks like tips and tricks sometimes, we do forget to put yeah. in the video, don't we? We're only human. Yeah. If we was focused 100% on the cooking, then it would be okay, but um, we do forget little things like that now and again. I think that'll do. Okay. Right, so that's cooled down a bit now. Always best to let that cool down, because sometimes if you put the potato on and it's quite liquidy it can just sink can't it when you're trying yeah. to smash it about so all you're going to literally do is just spoon it on all over the top there and hopefully getting full coverage now some people like to smooth it out shall some people like it rustic, rustic. what do you do it actually depends what mood I'm in. Sometimes right. I smooth it out and then sometimes it's rustic. Yeah. It just depends. they will be telling me off for using this metal spoon I know, I'm just there. thinking that myself. But we're careful, shall we? We're not stupid at the end of the day. It's ours and yeah. that's what we do now and again. It's only a matter of uh, convenience. I'm so. not going roughly on it, I'm going gentle. Yeah. You do what you want, baby. And there you go. And you've saved a bit of that cheese for the top there, Yeah, you? so I'll let this cool down. So this is a sort of dinner you can make in front of time, can't you? I've actually frozen these before as well. Yeah, you've normally done them before in individual portions as well. And things always taste better the next day, so I'm just going to let that cool down, and when that's cold, I'll add that cheese on. There you go. Right, we, as we said before, folks, we can't really go through and give everyone shout-outs, but this young lady, uh, Anita, all the way from uh, Melbourne, Australia, uh, did send us uh, a super thanks, so... We feel obliged to uh, sort of help her out and her husband, Stephen, 
who's just had some major back surgery and he's recovering now. Hopefully he's going to be okay. So we wish you well and Anita yeah, get wish, well, Stephen. Anita wishes you well as well, Stephen. So that's uh, Anita and Stephen from Melbourne, Australia. And I have one cheeky one to get in to wish Richard Baker a happy birthday for the 21st of Feb. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. Right, so we've actually lit up our candle to show yeah. over there because that stink of fish in here was terrible. This come from um, Ellis, one of our subscribers who sent us this and absolutely lovely. It's taken away that horrible smell of that fish, Sharon. It has. So whack that over there then. So when are we going to be I'm eating quite, anyway? I'm quite happy with it. <laughs> when are we going to be eating? What's it now? 20 to 4. Is that about 5? Five? 5? Five? R4. Oh, R4. Oh, Sounds good to me. We'll start cooking at R4, folks. We'll bring you back in. We're cooking up our steak. A little bit of salmon and I'm going to be having an egg with mine as well. So see you in a minute. Right, okay folks, it's uh, time to get these steaks on. So let's get them over to the, uh, the frying pan. Take a drop of our olive oil for the moment. Just put a little bit in there just to get it going. Just helps with searing the steak initially. So we'll put a bit in that. Right, so I'm gonna put these steaks in now. Now don't forget I've seasoned these sides already. So I'm gonna put them face down so that the seasoning is on the bottom. There we go, there's one. Drop that in there. And that means now that I can now season this side. So, on with the uh, sea salt. On with the uh, ground black pepper. There you go. This at them, folks. And I'll just put that um, lid on for the moment. There we go. What are you doing, baby? Drink. Thirsty. You're a bit thirsty, yeah. are you? You carry on. Right, you've got our other frying pan out. Lucky enough, shall we? We've got two of these now, haven't we? Yeah, we love them. These are the Inti Genus frying pans. Intongenus. Intongenus. There's In no G, is there? It's an O. Is it an O? Is it? I don't know, Chef. I don't know what it is. But we love them. They're very, very good non stick frying pans, these folks. So we're going to put the salmon in here. So we're going to have to cut the bits each. They're only small anyway, but um, I'm going to have an egg as well. Just I like an egg on top of me, um, me steak, Chef, don't I? Yeah. And there's no smell there, is there? No. God, that fish stunk, didn't it, Sharon? Absolutely stunk. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll put these on the lower heat one and I'll move the steaks over to the higher heat one. How about that? Okay. I want to put some chilli flakes on mine. Go on in. We well, can put them on mine as well. I'm not bothered, you. Yeah. A little bit of spice in your life, Sharon. You're going to put some butter in here? Uh, yes, we will do. We'll go for the uh, grass-fed butter as well, I think. What do you reckon? Yep. And it does taste so much better, Sharon, than your standard butter. Mm. Oh, look at that. Wow. Let's turn them over, folks. Oh, look at that. In fact, I could probably turn that down to uh, a thousand. That can go on. Two lots going at once there. Looking lovely. See, I like to prick them, folks, rather than cut them. And can you see the blood coming to the surface there? Look, that tells me that that's not how I want it. Look, see? By pricking it, the blood comes to the surface. So then I'll just flip that over again. And I'll do the same to that side as well. Until I see the uh, liquid either run clearer. And then I know that's how we like it, because we don't like them uh, bloody. Although I don't mind a medium, medium to well, I think I like. I'm more medium to rare, so well done. What are you? Uh, medium to well. Same as me, is she? Yeah, see that blood's still coming to the surface. How's that uh, fish going on there? Look. I'm going to flick them. Oh, look at that bit of butter in there, shall I? Look. I'm going to flick them. Yeah, I'll get the little uh, spatula, actually. Just look at that. Just flip them over. There we go. All that lovely butter in there, people, look. And I think these are going to probably be done just after this one now. If I push that fork in there now. Like 
like that. Yeah, they're coming out clearer now, I think you'll find. So I'll let that tick over, just like that with the lid on, for another couple of minutes, and I think they'll be done, folks. Right, okay. I think they're fine, I think they're done. Right, I'm just going to put my eggs in now, folks. A couple of little eggs. There's one. There we go. There's two eggs in there. I will put the lid back on and just let them cook down because we'll get um, a nice glaze over the top of them then. Let's have a look at this fish here. I think that looks done, doesn't it? They look done, don't they, baby? We'll wait for your eggs to get done. Yeah. And that butter. You can't beat butter in a frying pan, folks. But don't have the fat too, don't have the butter too high, the heat, because it will burn the butter. That smells absolutely delightful. Right, okay, let's get these um, fish fillets out now, the salmon. So it's a couple of them each. Just lay them on there. Couple for me. Don't waste that butter in there, people. Don't waste that butter. Lovely. Right, the eggs have gone lovely, folks. They've gone really nice. So I'm just gonna turn that steak over there. Let's put that on that plate like that for Sharon. Oh, look at that. And there's my one there. Let's put that one over that side as well. <sighs> Doesn't that look lovely? And these eggs have gone to perfection. Look at this, look. Look how they've glazed over, people. There we go, look at that. Superb. There you go, baby. Thank Jimmy's you. Gonna, Jimmy's gonna want that, isn't he? Let's take a closer look. Right, there you go, Sharon. Look at that, look. So you do like a bit of white pepper on yours, even though we've done black pepper. I love white pepper. Look at that lovely bit of butter. That's grass-fed butter on the top of that, people. Have a go at that steak, shall we? Well, I'm going to be fish first. Oh, you're going to try the fish first? Looks all right to me. Get that butter sauce on it. So much better with chilli flakes. That is mm. a pink salmon, that, isn't it? Mm. Here we go. Look at the way that's cutting through that, Sharon. Go on in it and you go. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, but it's the best. It is By the far. best, isn't it? Look mm. at that butter on there, folks. Look, that's just what you want. Look, give us a go, baby. Right. I can't help it, Shell. I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know if I've overdone them eggs, Shell. Let's have a little look. Come in nearer, baby. A little bit I've overdone them, haven't I? That's all right, though. I'm happy with that. Let's go for this chili flakes. Salmon. Oh, Sharon. That butter. No, them chilli flakes in my eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming through now, isn't it? Yeah, I love chilli flakes. Mm. Don't I, daughter? Let's have a go at this ribeye. Look at that, look. Oh, it does cut so simple, Sharon, doesn't it? So easy. Let's have a bit of that dairy uh, grass butter on it. Look. Ready? I'm going in, folks. Full metal jacket. Oh, that butter shower, that steak is so tender. This is fantastic, folks. Right, come on, baby, come around here. Let's just wrap this up, because we want to eat this. So there we go, Phil. Well. <laughs> so there we go, people. This is our only meal today. We haven't eaten for 24 hours, and this is all we'll be eating. We'll probably be doing something similar tomorrow, with maybe them big pork chops or that belly pork or whatever. We're not sure yet. We have got two more ribeye steaks as well, and uh, we're gonna thoroughly enjoy this now. So we're gonna sign off now. Cheers. We're gonna get involved in this, make short work of it, sit down, watch a bit of telly, watch a bit of YouTube, 
And then we'll come back to you and see what we do tomorrow. But you've enjoyed this video, Shell? Yeah. Like we're going to enjoy this meal now. Oh, I am. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.